the first to know in same PTV. Yekopiemu ewo nana do dangpa ekufu abo eni Alista Mataya in same a Al Jazeera etimi ebeto beto abo eni a aye deja a man for a company asset na openi ba kubi a de same a beto ya ebusi a for a no etimi a deje ba na. Before I say another concern, I will you a cake. I will not want to because I think that you are no Mr. Keke. Mr. Danto, Mr. Kwame Danto, and some Yeah, Kwame Danto, a private legal practitioner. I this answer to the set of my pre-nuclear father. In suit, a year, at least and now, sir, in some of so old media, and so it's a yet and some of the two gentlemen. Also, a private legal practitioner, Mr. Kwame Jantua, has said that President Nana Adam Kufadi should have written to Al Jazeera Network and Mr. Alistair Matthias simultaneously to retract and apologize for the documentary in which it was stated that. He, Mr. Epifuado, acted as a lawyer for Matthias, a Canadian gold smuggler and money launderer, and also benefited from an alleged $100 million infrastructure contract awarded to Matthias. Mr. Dantua said on the big issue on TV3 Friday, May 5th, with host Roland Walker, that it was Matthias who made the claims and only use Al Jazeera as the tool for the broadcast. Defamation is in two forms. The libel aspect which is written and there it is the um, slanderous aspect which is oral. In the, pre in the president going to Al Jazeera, he could equally um, have sent a letter to Matthias to retract because the issue of Al Jazeera is the fact that they broadcast it, but the real issue is what Mataya said in the broadcast. Which he said in the broadcast, the president sees it as malicious, uh, malicious sees it as defamatory, so why didn't he go for him? From the first um, encounter of sending the letter to Al Jazeera as a similar letter should have been sent to Matthias. It is Matthias who made the statement and used Al Jazeera as the platform to convey the message. Mr. Dantua further suggested to the president to see Alistair Matthias um, and the Doha based media, um, also the conglomerate um, at the International Court of Justice after Al Jazeera said it would not retract and apologize what it's left for to do is to take the materials and maybe add Al Jazeera to it Mr. Dantua who is a leading member of the convention people's party CPP stated Al Jazeera network said it has responded to the letter that was written to them by Mr. Ekufad demanding an apology and retraction for a documentary this was after a journalist on TV3 wrote to Al Jazeera inquiring whether or not they received the letter from Ghana's presidency. In a response, Al Jazeera said, We have responded to the letter from the President of the Republic of Ghana, correcting some parts of its content and clarifying various points. Prior to publication of Gold Mafia, we wrote to the President outlining the claims made by Alistair Matthias. The president's response appears near the end of the um, documentary. Portions of the letter to Al Jazeera dated 25th April 2023 said the documentary is question um, the documentary in question made baseless claims that the president acted um, as an as a lawyer for one Mr. Alistair Matthias and implied that the president personally benefited unlawfully from the alleged $100 million stated infrastructure contract purportedly awarded to Mr. Matthias. It added, it is imperative that you act forthwith 
on this request within seven days from the date of receipt um, of this letter. In the final episode of Al Jazeera's undercover investigation into Matthias gold smuggling and money laundering activity across Africa, he boastfully claimed to have relationship with various presidents on the continent, including President Akuf Ado. He described Ghana's president as a good friend and alleged that the president was his lawyer. The president's lawyer, Kou Esuman, also refuted attempts to link Mr. Akufuado to Alistair Matthias. In a tweet on Sunday, 16th April 2023, Esuman wrote that the president has not been in private um, practice since 2000, neither has the president nor in law firm. Ekufalu, Pempe, and Co acted as a lawyer for this Alistair Matthias or um, Godrest. The president does not know the Matthias or Godrest. Ignore the spurious allegation, he added. Some member of the Opposition National Democratic Congress, NDC, latched on, the, on these claims and raised various accusations against the president. However, the claims were denied by legal counsel to the president, called Esuman, who revealed that President Akufuado had not been in private practice as a lawyer since 2000, and his legal um, chambers has not in any way acted as lawyers um, to Alistair nor any of his associates. Matthias is a gold trader with expertise in designing money laundering scheme, a skill that he claimed has given him access to head of states across the continent, posing a Chinese criminal seeking to launder money from Africa. Al Jazeera's investigation team caught up with Matthias, who spelled out his modus operandi, the so-called financial architect, uh, also boasted um, about his alleged relationship with the president of some countries and the king of Swaziland. There is no head of state or president that either of us can't get to the um, can't get to on on this continent. Next door in Swaziland, the king is also is a close friend of mine. Zambia's president is a close friend of mine. DRC. The president has invited me several times to the um, to come build a refinery. He claimed. Um, I think that we need. Yeah. Yeah. Look, I that's an anad watch. What does it? Yeah, anad watch. I mean, that I mean, that you may be a good thing to maybe a man to me a time and yeah, and I say, be a more more. Jimmy House, the son of Musu, or two and a movie come from Passadi or from the world, a year who was sick as Yazi, or somewhere on the camp, a year or Montpellier before, and I'm a warrior. Okay.